Live at CME HQ with breaking news. Initial jobless claims post another post-COVID low. There's a lot of posts there. 269,000. That follows 281,000, which most likely over time here will get revised as it just did. Moves up to 283,000. And if we look at continuing claims, same scenario. Uh, Post-COVID low, 2,105,000. And last look was revised from 2.243 million to 2.239 million. Productivity, a minus sign. You never want to see a minus sign in front of non-farm productivity down 5%. Down 5%. Just think about it this way. In June, it was 11.2. That was a 50-year high. That was June of 2020. And if we look at unit labor costs, they zoomed 8.3%. And last month, 1.3% was downgraded just subtly to 1.1%. Now, on the trade balance, which began in 1992, it now moves from a record minus $72.8 billion, originally released at 73, minus 73 billion, to now minus 80.9, just shy of minus 81 billion, the biggest ever with regard to the trade balance uh, interest rates. Well, at 157, we're down a bit because we sold off pushing yields up to that 160 mark. But maybe the most interesting news is we are seeing the short dated maturities like a two year note move from much higher levels down to 44 basis points, which is still high. But it does accentuate how the Fed tilted us from paying more attention to raising rates to now back to the taper and how it affects the yield curve. Andrew, back to you. Rick, thank you for that uh, news and analysis. Going to go straight over to Steve Leisman now to get his take. Steve? Two real fast points. I think that two-year uh, decline of the two-year yield came as the Bank of England surprised markets by uh, failing to raise rates, which was kind of expected in there. And that two-year is a big thing. It's kind of uh, spilling over a bit into the uh, Fed funds complex a bit. The other thing is we've had a bit of run of good news here. This 269 on jobless claims, good number for jobs. Hopefully that sets us up. We can talk a little later maybe about the jobs report tomorrow. That's one. We had the ISM services were searching ahead. So it looks like we're getting a little rebound from the swoon we had in the fall and that lousy uh, Q3 GDP number. Maybe we're getting a little acceleration. Back to you, Andrew.